In this video, I'll be using group policy to configure start page for Microsoft Edge. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page. And that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Microsoft Edge settings via group policy. And also here you can see all the policy settings and values that I will be configuring in this video. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my group policy, so I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management, I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Edge Settings, then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects, then I will select the policy that I created and then I will right click on it and select Edit. And because I will be configuring this policy for my computer, so I will go to Computer Configuration, Policies, Administrative Templates, Microsoft Edge. And somewhere here we have this folder right here, Startup, Home Page and New Tab Page. I will go inside of it. And here we have all the settings that I will be configuring. And first I will be disabling the background in Microsoft Starting Page. So I'll click on this policy right here, Configure the Background Types allowed for the new tab page and I will click on it, I will enable this policy and then I will select disable all background image types and then I will click apply and OK. Then I will click on the hide app launcher on Microsoft Edge new tab page. I will also enable this policy, click apply and OK. And then I will be disabling Microsoft News, so I will click on allow Microsoft News content on the new tab page and I will disable this policy, I will click apply and OK. And also I'll be hiding the default top size. So I'll click on hide the default top size from the new tab page. I will enable this policy, click apply and OK. And that's basically it for this video. Basically I will be removing everything that I don't need from the Microsoft starting page. Now we can close this window, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it and I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, and it is holding all the computers in my domain. So I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Microsoft Edge and here we have the Microsoft Edge starting page. As you can see, we can still have the Microsoft News here. We also have all the default quick links and also all the other unnecessary stuff. And that's because even though I created the policy, I didn't give it in enough time to update on my computers. So I'll do it manually. I will go to start menu. I will search for CMD, press enter. Then I will type GP update and press enter once again. And now we need to wait a bit. And the policy update was successful. And for the settings to apply, I need to relaunch a Microsoft Edge. I even think that I need to relaunch it twice. So let's close it for the first time. Relaunch it. And it seems that it worked from the first time this time. Oh, you can see that Microsoft logo is not, uh, doesn't look that great. So let's try again. Let's close it. Reopen it. And this time it looks just fine. And now Microsoft starting page looks a lot cleaner without all the unnecessary stuff, at least in my opinion. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.